Hello, my name is Meher Dabba and I'm Professor of Competition and Policy at Queen Mary University of London. I'm here to talk about uh, one of the competition law courses which is on offer within the University of London external program, the International and Comparative Competition Law course. This is a course that deals with competition law and policy in the context of the globalized economy. It comes to give particular expression to the importance and role that competition on policy have come to play in today's world. We have really a fascinating picture around us when one looks at competition on policy these days. So many countries around the world have come to adopt some form of competition law and uh, policy domestically. The number here really keeps rising and so nowadays we have over 130 different competition law regimes around the world. Some of these reg regimes belong to developed economies, others belong to developing economies, something that makes competition law and policy in this globalized context a very highly interesting issue. The course contains both international and comparative elements. In relation to international elements, here we are talking about issues, primarily issues of policy, that deal with the development of competition and policy internationally. In relation to the comparative element, we are talking about here a particular part of the course that looks at a variety of regimes. The course is divided into four different sections. The first section, section A of the course, deals with, among other things, the process of internationalization of competition and policy. We're talking about here the process through which competition law and policy have become internationalized. That means they have been developed at an international level. The section will consider specifically the different types of internationalization beyond considering actually the meaning of this particular process of internationalization. The section will also consider the role that international bodies and organizations play in the field of competition law and policy, most notably here the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, UNCTAD, the ICN, the International Competition Network, and also, to a lesser extent, the World Trade Organization. Beyond considering the role of international bodies and organizations, the section will also consider the role that is played by multinational enterprises. Business firms do have a very important role to play in the field of competition law and policy, and specifically in this particular process of internationalization. So the section will aim to present an accurate picture of this particular process of internationalization by providing an appropriate examination of both multinational enterprises as well as international bodies and organizations. The second section of the course, section B, will deal with the different types of internationalization. Specifically, it will consider the doctrine of extraterritoriality, what is widely referred to as the unilateral option or the unilateral strategy. It will consider the question of cooperation, bilateral cooperation between competition authorities. This is an important mechanism that um, many competition authorities nowadays are engaged in and so the section will look at among other things the different types of bilateral cooperation it will highlight the a practical uh, significance as well as the practical limitation of bilateral cooperation and thirdly the section will consider the topic of multilateral cooperation Especially, it will consider different types of multilateral cooperation. It will consider the issue of convergence and harmonization, uh, which has been receiving particular attention, especially in recent times, and especially within the work of international organizations, most notably the International Competition Network or the ICN. In the third section, section C, there is a 
comprehensive picture presented in relation to different computational regimes around the world. We will study in this particular section in broad terms the EU computational regime, the US antitrust regime, the German regime and the Japanese regime. The idea here is to offer different models of competition law and policy and how they are enforced in practice. These are highly interesting regimes. They are all very significant and very important um, in practice, especially, of course, in relation to the EU regime and the US regime, the two most important regimes in the world. The section, however, will also consider the special case of developing countries or less developed economies. Competition law and policy have been receiving particular attention in the developing world. And so the section will consider, among other things, the challenges facing developing economies in the field of competition law and policy. It will consider the unique interests of these economies and it will uh, try somehow to offer a good flavour of the debate in relation to what role should competition law and policy really fulfil in developing economies. Finally, in the fourth section of the course, section D, there is an examination of the special relationship between competition policy and trade policy. The section will consider the differences as well as the similarities between these two different policies as well as the important issue of market access as a linking point between these two uh, different policies.